Today we are talking wellness with Factory6 who is going to tell you how to build your business and increase sales by adding a white label product line. And we're talking small businesses and classic movies. And aside from that, I will entertain on some small points. They won't be necessarily germane to the conversation, but they might be funny. All this and more happening right now on Talk 365 TV. Here we go. And welcome back to Talk 365 TV. That's Holly Love. I'm Trip Mitchell. And I am having old man surgery. Number three. Number three. What does that say? I'm good to go. Right? Yeah. You are going to be bionic. I, I am going to be able to... Superhero. I want to be a fair hockey player again. I don't want to be... I'm, I'll start a game and I'll be bad. And by the end of the game, I've gotten worse. So I'm the new hip is going to make all the difference in the world. But How long are you going to be gone for? And what is the story for recovery? Because I've heard hips are a little... I am going to be... Actually, no. I've heard hips are easy. It's knees that are the tough one. Knees are a tough one. So I'm going to be home that afternoon. Oh, wow. I'm going to climb stairs. Oh, yeah. They have you up and walking and moving really fast. You know what's funny is... If you ever, spinals, you, there are two ways of putting you out for surgery. Your spinal, which numbs everything, mm. or using painkillers. And in my case, they're using painkillers because then you get mobility back. They, oh. can, they can figure out your level of pain. If you have a spinal You're for my just... knee replacement, you are so happy. You wake up and you want to dance. And I'm ordering. Because you can feel nothing. I'm feeling nothing. I'm ordering a level of food. Uh, put it this way. There are plenty of buffets in town. Uh -huh. Chuck-a-rama was laughing at my order. It was so big. Then on about three in the morning, the that wears off and you were in excruciating pain. I didn't eat for three days. Great way After, to lose it weight. It was good you packed it on for the uh, starvation period to come, right? I am such a weird person that I felt guilty when they bring me food in the morning in the hospital and I don't eat it. The other, We've talked about this. When you go into a store and someone is sampling something, mm -hmm. they'll tell you about it. And I pretend that I'm going to buy it. Sure, and because sampling, you want to make him feel good. You don't want to have the sample lady feel like she, or guy, feel like he didn't do his job. Exactly. So I listened to the stupid spiel, even though I'm just... You it, just wanted the piece of meat and cheese. It, bingo. I totally What's know What's your you. favorite thing you've ever tried in a store? Because I... There's you, sushi. You tell me yours. Sushi. At Smith's, they have amazing quality sushi. Typically, the Smith's that I go to every day. And right? It, yeah, I go by and they ask me how the kids and the family are because they know me so well. But You're but, there for the, your sushi lunch? Yeah, and then at Sam's Club, they do a great job. Oh, I, I've never been to Sam's. I, are you we, a Costco woman? We have a Costco and Sam's ferry in Andy's mom and dad. So we just place an order and sometimes Trader Joe's. And then what we need magically appears. We're very grateful for them. Sam's. However, we have sequestered them recently and we've sort of flipped the role. So we've now been their fairies. When we come back, we'll see if you have a fairy godmother and we'll leave you some food. No, we won't do that. What but you should go do? find some food that you want and we've got a local loving on businesses and we will also be talking with Mr. Todd Summers about classic movies. All this and more are happening right after the break. This is important news for people who have taken Zantac or its generic ranitidine and then suffered from cancer. Zantac and generic ranitidine have been linked to cancers. Zantac and ranitidine contain NDMA, a known cancer-causing agent. If you or a loved one took Zantac or generic ranitidine and were then diagnosed with bladder cancer, kidney cancer, or any of these cancers, call Davis and Crump right now to see if you're eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Operators are standing by. Hey everyone, I'm Holly Love and I am here at the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School with my good friend Dennis Parker. Dennis, I have three questions for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Number one, when do classes start? A person can uh, start with the online portion of the training anytime and then uh, come into the live classroom trainings as we have them scheduled. Who's signing up and why? We have uh, people who sign up to be certified clinical hypnotherapists who want to have those clinical skills to be able to affect behavioral modification. We have uh, people who are executives, managers, 
or who want to have other career enhancements. We also have grandparents and parents who want to know how to work with their own children and family. Number three, what happens if people mention that they saw us on Talk 365? We're offering a $200 textbook and CD package as part of their full registration. All of this information and more is available on the website. Log on and change your life today. Enroll now. Classes start soon. Talk 365 TV's Classic Movie Minute with Todd Summers. Beautiful morning right here in Salt Lake City. Yes, sir. You cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong. You're a happy woman. Always. This time of year is my time of year. I was saying that the song, The Most Wonderful Time of the Year, should be for this right now. You know what's weird is if you're entirely at all optimistic, you can make an argument for any time of the year is the most wonderful time. It's true. And I, I do do that. That's how I survive the times that I don't love so much. But this is my favorite. Okay. Officially, it's favorite. Put that on your calendar at home. So we're going to talk about a new business that is kind of surprising. I, I'm In Utah County, well, to back up for a second, Salt Lake County, in particular, certain like city of South Salt Lake has become very favorable to new breweries opening up mm -hmm. and new distilleries. And for the difference is a distillery allows you to make hard liquor, mm -hmm. like your vodka, rum. Uh, whiskey, rum, anything. Mm -hmm. And a, a, uh, a brewery is just beer. And so a bunch have opened up in South Salt Lake and a bunch in Salt Lake in general. But there's one that's opened in Utah County and that surprised me. Utah County has its very first distillery. It is Clearwater Distillery. Now this is a group of experts that came together and decided to break the rules, mix it up, use non-traditional methods to create really unique concoctions. And they have named them after historic figures. Their launch products are like Josephine A. De Vie. I'm probably murdering that. I know it's French and it means something about water. It's like a clear liquor. And they take their mash and they cross it with rum and they do a mash with wine. It sounds delightful. It is a beautiful product. At the end of the day, I just want to like show off the bottle. And the next one is Lawrence Cinnamon Rum. Now they do a different thing with their distilling of their rum. They put it through a gin basket which isn't typical. And then they infuse everything with all natural ingredients and cross things together. There's like no sugars or artificial flavors. Everything's organic. It is just a really cool concept and business and really awesome that it's in Utah County. I have to say that I'm surprised at that. What was yeah. their rationale for opening up in Utah County? I think they wanted to be rebels and they're all from there. And so they wanted to prove, hey, we can make this happen. What? And the only bummer is they started kind of right at the end of March and then had to say, hey, our doors are open, but you can't come in. Watch their website for when you can actually have product available again. Get down there and get some. You will definitely want to support this local business. Keep your eye on them. Uh, we want all of these people to succeed who have been working so hard to launch their products and then have you know, things hit to thwart their efforts. So anyway, in the meantime, if you are at home and you're looking for a classic movie to check out, Mr. Todd Summers is going to tell you all about why you want to watch Casablanca. Hi my friends, my name is Todd Summers and welcome to a Classic Movie Minute. I'm not even going to say fantastic. You all know that this is a great film from 1942, Casablanca, starring Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bergman, Sidney Greenstreet, Peter Lorre. This movie is loaded with more stars than there are in the heavens. This came out of uh, Warner Brothers, um, it was written by the uh, Epstein brothers. One of my all-time favorite scenes from this movie is when um, the leader of the Germans in the bar starts singing their national anthem and it, it, it rivals the French and so they start singing their national anthem and the French win and shut the Germans down. It, it, it'll, it'll bring a tear to your eyes. This movie won three Oscars. You can find it on your favorite digital platform, your digital store, wherever you like to go to watch movies. I'm sure you can find it for under five bucks. Enjoy it. Ready for a home appliance repair. George, 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 we have Choice Home Warranty. Oh yeah, with Choice Home Warranty, we don't have to fight expensive repair bills. 
Hi, George Foreman here, and if you're a homeowner, stop getting sucker punched by the high cost of home repairs. Choice Home Warranty can protect over 25 of your home's major systems and appliances. For about a dollar a day. And if their army of expert technicians can't fix it, they'll replace it. You could save thousands. You never have to worry about getting ripped off or scramble for trusted repairmen. Choice Home Warranty has a proven record a million times over. So when you heat an oven or fridge, throw in the towel, call Choice Home Warranty, and for about a dollar a day, never pay for covered home repairs again. Call right now for your free quote, and we'll include your first month free. Call 800-338-0462, 800-338-0462. Today's wellness news you can use is presented by Factory 6. And welcome back to the show. Beautiful morning, Holly Love, Trip Mitchell. These guys are rebels doing a distillery in Utah County. But however, what's funny is there's a liquor store in Pleasant Grove, I think. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest in the state with the most parking lots. So, well, that's where they're located. So maybe a little bit of a strategy there. And if you think about it, Utah County is going to grow exponentially. Great time to be in Utah County. Right. And, and I want that island in the middle of Utah Lake. I do too. I think that would be really cool. Okay, well, continuing our conversation on business, and how to grow your business, how to start a business. Trip, how important is it to have a product line that you can sell online and be making money outside of hours for dollars at this moment right now? It is a game changer. Right? But right now more than ever, having the ability to make money while you're sleeping or make money while you're not able to be in your office, have something out there that is an amazing product that aligns with your brand, it's just what every business needs to do. So if you are a bootlegging entrepreneur that is looking for a product and you would love to be able to make this happen, you should check these guys out because Factory 6 is a white label custom manufacturer that is exclusive to hemp derived products. They want everyone to be able to get the ball rolling. They have a white label menu and you're able to for around 500, under a thousand dollars, couple hundred bucks, anywhere in that range, get a product line ready to go to test on your market. And that includes label and all the information that they need to have, design, and right now the industry is booming, it is huge. So without further ado, here is our Talking Wellness with Factory 6. Today's Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness is brought to you by Factory 6. Hey everybody, welcome to our Talking Wellness series. Today I am so excited because I am here with Trent from our new wellness team members, Factory Six. Hi Trent. Hello. Thank you so much for having me and I have to tell you we are so excited to have you guys be a part of our wellness team. Likewise. Because the content that we are going to put together with you guys is going to be a really cool mashup of both Talking Wellness and Talking Business because Factory Six is a white label custom product manufacturer that is exclusive to hemp derived products. Now, hemp is such a booming industry. It, it represents over 25,000 products and nine industries. So it makes it really easy to see why business insiders are all saying you want in on it, why they're all saying you want to invest in a product line, because pretty much we will look back on this time the way we looked back on Apple and Microsoft and Yahoo. Yes. So if you don't get in now, you're going to kick yourself later. And I think the only hang up is there is so much confusion about the plant itself. Is it legal? Is it not? And its story is the reason why there's so much confusion and that's why you're here because you are our expert in this. That's right. Give us a little history. Tell us why this poor plant has such a bad rap. So hemp is very misunderstood as it's uh, not commonly known, but it's a close cousin to marijuana. But back in the uh, you know, 1920s, 1930s, there were business interests that saw it as a competing raw material, specifically lumber. And so they kind of lumped it in with marijuana when they legalized it back in the 1930s in order to protect their own business interests. And at that point, there'd been a lot of research done as far as it being the best product to make paper out of, ropes, clothing out of it. Farmers were using it as a rotational crop to recondition their soils. And then during World War II, in fact, shortly after it was illegalized, there was a mandate in specific states around the country that anyone with over a certain acreage was required to grow hemp for the war effort because they were making uniforms and parachutes and rope and oil yeah. to lubricate plane engines and all kinds of things. I mean, pretty much everything we were using had some hemp-derived products. So it's really, really fascinating the different things that we can do with it. Not only did 
that is it's a carbon negative material. For example, hempcrete, mm. which is lighter than concrete, actually pulls more carbon out of the atmosphere than it takes to produce it. It's a pretty amazing plant as far as what we can do with it. Let's then dive in and explain the difference between hemp and marijuana because under the cannabis umbrella, there's marijuana and there's hemp, but then when we look at hemp, there are different strains of hemp that brings yes. different benefits. So let's talk about that because I feel like she needs a little hug and some like rebranding. Totally. They're close cousins because they're both under the cannabis family, but they are completely different species of plants. Marijuana has high concentrations of THC, which is what gets you high, gives you that psychoactive effect. Whereas hemp does not. It only has about 0.3% in the products that you're actually going to be consuming. So it is generally untraceable, undetectable amount. So. As far as uh, hemp is concerned, like you said, Holly, there's different strains that exist, and these different strains have different profiles, as they call them, of cannabinoids. Mm -hmm. So CBD, or cannabidiol, is only one of 113 known cannabinoids currently. And cannabinoids are not specific only to plants. We have an endocannabinoids that our body produces naturally, and then there's phytocannabinoids that are produced by the plant, and they interact with what's called an endocannabinoid system. This is a system of receptors that our central nervous system uses to regulate different body functions, like appetite, pain relief, anxiety, depression, and basically it's using this receptor network to bring our body to homeostasis. As we know, our bodies don't always function perfectly. Yeah. And so that's where the addition of, you know, vitamins, supplements, and cannabinoids can help our body perform at the more optimal level. And right now, that's where research is really trending. I mean, it's there's a lot of scientific research to substantiate the benefits that are coming from hemp and hemp-derived products. In fact, there have been two treatments so far with cannabinoids that the FDA has approved as effective treatments. One of them is for acne, mm -hmm. and one of them is for epilepsy. And then I can think of seven different health benefits that they're individually researching right now. And it's not that it's curing these things, but right. it, it, they're finding it to be very effective in helping to alleviate certain things that people are suffering from. Exactly. Well, now, you guys don't grow your own hemp here, obviously. Right. So where do you get it, and what steps do you take to make sure that it is a quality product every time you can count on it. That's something that, especially as a consumer, this is really, really important. So what we do um, as a manufacturer, like you say, we do not grow, but we contract with organic farmers. Our farms are generally in Kentucky, Oregon, and Colorado are where we source most of our hemp from. We visit each farm personally. We have to ensure that they're actually using organic practices, that it's truly, truly an organic product. And then these farmers, they test their product at harvest time. It's a full panel lab test that goes through. It's free of herbicides, pesticides, heavy metals, microbials, mycobes, fungicides, and also to find out what the profile is as far as percentage of cannabidiol, of the other minor cannabinoids, of THC. So after they do that test, then they put it through an extraction method. That final product that comes off that first extraction is what we call crude oil. Okay. So we buy that crude oil from farmers, and uh, at that point, we test it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Even though it came to us and it comes with a lab test, we still, just to verify those results, we do a third-party lab test on that material once we receive it. From there, we put it through a distillation process where we're not using any harmful solvents or chemicals to do this. It's a heat right. and pressure process to refine the crude oil because the crude oil still has chlorophyll, plant fats, and other things in there that as far as taste-wise, mm -hmm. it's a little rough sometimes. So the heat and pressure process helps to make it more palatable, and at times, mm -hmm. the farmers don't have control over what the plant does. Sometimes it does come in, as we call it, hot material, in the sense that it's over federal regulation of 0.3%. And doing our own distillation in-house, we can help remediate and burn off that THC, taking it back down to 0.3%. And then once we put that distillate or isolate into finished products, we then test that finished product again. So at Factory 6, you guys deal in products that are either full spectrum or broad spectrum. Let's talk what's the difference there. So when we pull off the extract off of the plant itself, the full spectrum, it has all of the cannabinoids present that that plant produces. Whatever that profile is, that's mm -hmm. what we're talking about full spectrum. Full spectrum does have a little bit of THC. We're talking 0.3%, again, it's non-detectable. But as we refine that through a distillation process, there was gonna be a little bit of burn off of some of those cannabinoids, the minor ones, and the THC. And that's where you can get a broad spectrum distillate, or if you even keep going, you can get all the way to isolate. When I say isolate, it's kind of the next step after broad spectrum where you're just dealing with one cannabinoid. Like, it's not just CBD, there's CBG, CBN, 
mint or any of the other cannabinoids. That is a possibility. We have the technology to do that. So strains are kind of like apples, yes, right? There's like much. Fuji, there's the Honeycrisp, mm -hmm. and when you're talking about the full strain, it's like you're eating it raw. Yes. But pretty much if you boil it, bake it, whatever, you're gonna pull out some of those nutrients which brings you to broad. Yes. But what I like about that is if you are interested in a product line and you wanna work with first responders or medical industry people, broad spectrum products would be something you would wanna do because you control that THC level a little more. Yeah, it, it is a little bit of a trade-off, um, right. especially as research trends toward the entourage effect which means more cannabinoids together equals better benefit, basically. But again, for people who were drug tested on a regular basis, like you said, Holly, that could be a worry about job loss. So that's where people would want to go with a broad spectrum or an isolate based product. Right. Well, let's talk about ingestible versus topical. Which way do you want to use? Is there a strategy? Yes. In fact, I, both. Uh -huh. It's, it's a, a bit of both is best. Mm -hmm. So with the endocannabinoid system, uh, those receptors that that system uses, about 80% is internal. We do have receptors on the skin and it can be absorbed and be effective that way, but it's a limited amount. So taking it internally is where you're really gonna get the most benefit. And we have a white label product called a quick tab, for example, that's more like a sublingual application. So it gets absorbed directly into the bloodstream through the mouth. So it's effective immediately and your absorption rates of cannabinoids are a lot higher than say, something that you swallow down, whether it's a capsule, a soft gel, or a gummy or something like that. It's having to get broken down in the stomach and then absorbed through the digestive system, mm -hmm. which takes longer to feel the effects and your absorption rates of that you know, is gonna be a lot less. What if people are interested in bringing it down to that nanotechnology? You mm -hmm. guys are very well versed in this industry. Yes. You know how to get anything and everything done the best way. Anytime that you put anything through nanotechnology, you're making it more bioavailable. We have a water soluble white label product that is fantastic and extremely stable. And something that we really wanna try and focus on is not just quality products, but effective products. Right, especially through the digestion process because with oils, and all of that technology out there, it's really important you educate yourself about the bioavailability and what happens to the product going into your system is key to understanding your products and why they're so great. Yes. So I'm on board, I want my white label, here we go, what's next? As a manufacturer, we try to make it as easy as possible for everyone from the bootstrapping entrepreneur who's just starting stuff out of his garage to multi-million dollar corporations to really get into this industry. So even if you're an existing business, the way that we always recommend starting, test some products with your audience. Start slow, mm. spend a few hundred bucks, see what they like. What do your clients or audience actually want, right? Maybe it's mm. a tincture, maybe they like tablets, maybe they want soft gels, maybe they want a balm. Whatever it is that you're looking to do, we try to make it very easy mm. and simple to do. So um, we provide a white label menu of products. We have MOQs, minimum order quantities, as low as 50 units. I mean, a lot of manufacturers have minimum order quantities upwards of you know 1,000 to 5,000 units, depending on what you're doing. So for a couple hundred bucks, you can test some products with your audience, figure out what works, and then from there, you can scale up into a custom product, start adding different kind of function-focused ingredients to really niche down on that product. Wow, so, so the key thing to understand is that you really help different business owners figure out how their brand could align with a hemp-derived product so that they can diversify and increase their sales. Exactly. Which is brilliant. So what is the best way for people to get a hold of you and set up a strategy session? How does it work? Absolutely. First thing is reach out to us. The best way to do that is through our website. We have a form. It's got some basic questions as far as your company information, uh, the, what kind of products you're looking to do. From there, someone from our team will reach out within 24 to 48 hours and start a conversation as far as what products we wanting to test. Do you want to sample that stuff? For white labels, we're generally looking about one to two weeks. But one of those things that through that process is the labeling process. So we don't do any kind of retail, we're strictly B2B. We do provide label design so that everything on the label is compliant with regulation and it's all in the right place. You've got your QR code that leads to your certificate of analysis on your website, the supplement fact, the ingredient deck, everything that needs to be on there, we can help you get it on there. Nice. And then from there, we'll also print the labels and apply them as well to the product. So you literally get a box of product ready to sell. But again. We want to make it as easy as possible for people to get into this industry. The more people that are get, get into this industry to help provide these beneficial products, the better. Trent, it has been an absolute pleasure. I am so excited that we get to continue this conversation in more of this series along the way and even take you through the process of making a product line, which yes. I am so excited for. Super excited. And if you enjoyed this content, log on to their website because we did an extended TV interview and video podcast 
where we dove deep into all of these things that we talked about and then you're gonna to want to fill out that form and set up a consultation with this guy or a business strategy session so that you can get the ball rolling for your industry. Trent, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, it's been great. In the meantime, don't go anywhere. We will be right back on Talk 365 TV right after this. Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyro stem. And welcome back to Talk 365 TV, Trip Mitchell and Holly Love. And so Casablanca was a little movie. Okay. That hit. It was, um, I don't want to put it in the Napoleon Dynamite category. But maybe in the realm of like they didn't give it. Yeah, when it didn't you think have of, a big budget for the time. Yeah, it's think of movies at that movies. time. You've got Gone with the Wind. You've got mm -hmm. The Wizard of Oz. Those mm -hmm. are two other movies in that era. Mm -hmm. And Casablanca had a Humphrey Bogart, obviously, who's a huge star at the time. But it was a studio movie. It was shot on a back lot, and uh, it it just took off. And you know, how would it be to be work on a movie like that? Just something that we're still talking about now. I can't do math that fast, but how long is that? Well, that is over uh, 80 years ago. Wow. Wow. That is very impactful. What I think is interesting is how much we're doing all of the redos on movies, which of course have now maybe been paused a little, maybe not, who knows, but like the Top Gun that's being redone. And it's like we're going back to this formula because there is a classic formula that just sort of works. Well, it does. And... You know, the challenge for Hollywood is the big tentpole movies. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're all Marvel or any superhero movie are the ones that they cost 100 to 200 million to make, but they're kind of, they're going to get in, they're going to do 500 to a billion dollars at the box office worldwide. Right. And those movies are, you know, not thinking. The movies I like are just fun, smart ones. And we pointed one out on the show, mm -hmm. The Big Sick. Oh my gosh, we love that movie. Yeah. And that one is a must watch if you're hanging out and want to have a very well entertained time. With a smart movie. With a smart movie. And the other thing about that we have going for us now in a tough time where people are consuming a lot of media is there are so many great TV shows. Right. So many. Tell me about the doc, because I heard just a little bit and about the sports doc, and of course I thought of you because for sports fans out there that are looking for a fix, there is a Michael Jordan doc. Explain this. Did they shoot it at the time and it just didn't release? I'm so, so confused. So what happened is Michael Jordan in his last year, and it's crummy for us because Jordan beat the Jazz the second year in a row. The Jazz were in the NBA final. I was down in Brian Head watching that game in tears because Jordan was sick. But anyway, it's a 10-part documentary that ESPN moved up to coincide with the Corona-19. And so essentially what it is is chronicling that last year where the team knew they were broken up. The general manager was going to get rid of some people and Scottie Pippen. But following the last year... They covered Dennis Rodman's trip down to Vegas. They, I heard about they, that with it, Carmen Electra hiding yeah. behind the couch and basically Michael Jordan rapping on the door saying, you got to come back, man. It is. And Michael Jordan. Now, those of you watching, please don't watch with your kids because there's a lot of swearing. Oh, okay. So the first time on ESPN I've ever heard um, the bad word mm -hmm. and it's used all the time. Mm, well, Rodman. But they don't no, bleep it? No, no. It, the, the one that starts with an F is used a lot. Okay. So please, adult please. Adult language. A, a, very adult. And so you have to have ESPN or can you stream it? Uh, I believe you have to have it. All right. Streaming will be to come. So we'll watch for that. If you don't have it, otherwise check out ESPN. Trip, thank you as always. Good luck with your procedure. I can't wait to see you. I hope you're back in like three days like you were last time. No problem. We'll see you. You won't skip a beat. Everyone have a great day.